Donkey of the Day for Wednesday, April 4th goes to Nassim Ogdam. Uh, she's the 38-year-old woman who, armed with a handgun, walked onto YouTube's campus yesterday and started busting. All right? She shot three people. Thank God all of them are alive. All of them are alive, right? Uh, I think they are. And then she shot herself in the chest. Now, it's a damn shame no place in America is safe from mass shootings. Okay? We have seen them in movie theaters. We've seen them in schools. We've seen them in churches. Now we see them on the campuses of YouTube. There's truly no place in America that is safe from a potential mass shooting. And as someone who, is already, who already has bad anxiety, all this does is make me want to stay home. Okay, I hate large crowds at this point in my life. I am, uh, if I am somewhere and it's a large crowd, all I can think about is that it's only a matter of time before a random act of terrorism happens, okay? Because let's be clear, it doesn't matter the race or the religious background of a shooter. Whenever you commit a mass shooting on American soil, foreigner or not, you are a terrorist committing an act of terrorism. Okay, for more details on this shooting, let's go to NBC News for the report. The attacker that has been identified as the woman that came here and opened fire on YouTube uh, has been identified as a woman that was making YouTube videos. It was her father that told authorities, warning them that she hated the company and the family before the shooting happened, reached out to authorities, asking them to check on her before this shooting took place. The shots rang out just before 1 p.m. Tuesday. Three people shot, two women and a man who was the most seriously injured. Police identified the shooter as 39-year-old Nassim Akdam. Police telling NBC News Akdam may have been angry at the video sharing site, claiming that YouTube discriminated and filtered her content. Akdam had a large YouTube presence with multiple channels, from animal rights activism to bizarre musical parodies. Authorities believe Akdam took her own life as police closed in. They say she used a 9mm handgun in the attack. Now, Nassim. Okay, uh, committing this mass shooting is enough to get her donkey of the day. But do you hear her alleged motivation? That's what's sealing the deal on this hee-haw for me. See, now some allegedly was upset that YouTube was censoring her videos, but not censoring the videos of Miley Cyrus and Nicki Minaj. I wish I was making this up right now, okay? Mm -hmm. On Nassim's website, she proudly calls herself a female vegan bodybuilder and an animal rights activist. She boasted about humane living on her website. Nassim, um, I don't know if you can hear me where you are because I don't know if the Breakfast Club is syndicated in the afterlife, but there's nothing humane about committing a mass shooting, okay? In fact, that is what we call inhumane, you know, the opposite of humane. Anyway, you can go on her YouTube and watch videos of things she has produced and posted, uh, in one, she edits herself dancing alongside herself in a black and white outfit and a cow head mask. Oh, that's some compelling content right there. All right, that'll get you. That'll get you the views you're looking for. She also did an interview with the L.A. Times at a protest. The protest was at Camp Pendleton, where Marines were using pigs in training for treatment of battlefield wounds. Nassim said in that interview, "For me, animal rights equals human rights. Just because they can't talk doesn't mean we should take advantage of them." It amazes me. How one minute someone can be all about humane living on social media and can fight for the rights of pigs, can make statements like, for me, animal rights equals human rights just because they can't talk doesn't mean we should take advantage of them. But then you take a handgun on YouTube campus and take advantage of all those innocent, unarmed human beings. Mm. What the motive? What made this young lady snap? Was it because she felt like YouTube was censoring her, her words? Can we hear a words from Nassim's mouth in which she complains about her content being discriminated and filtered on YouTube? Can we hear that, please? I'm being discriminated and filtered on YouTube. And if you go and check my videos, you see that my new videos hardly get views. And my old videos that used to get many views stopped getting views. They age restricted my ab workout video, a video that has nothing bad in it, nothing sensual. I contacted support team and they also said the same thing. There are some inappropriate things in your video. Many singers like Nicki Minaj, Miley and many others who have sensual scenes don't get age restricted. But my workout video gets age restricted. This is why hmm. you can't go back and forth with people on social media because it really is some sick deranged, mm -hmm. mentally ill people online. And when you argue with fools on social media, people from a distance can't tell who's mentally ill. That has to be the only logical reasoning that th this woman has to be mentally ill. Because I refuse to think people care about the internet and these social sites that much. This young lady was 38 years old. She's not even a kid. Okay, for you to be that invested in the, the internet, in a social site that you would take a handgun down to YouTube and shoot people because they were censoring your videos. Why are you pulling up on YouTube like rappers used to pull up on record labels in the 90s? Even in the 90s when rappers were disgruntled about their deals, they might have pulled up to the label with a gun or two, but they never shot an executive. Not that I know of. Have you ever heard of an executive being shot? 
Mm-mm. I haven't heard of that. Nah. And, and, and I see, why not? Why didn't you just go to YouTube and ask to speak to someone? Ask why your videos are being censored and other videos aren't. Did you even attempt to go to YouTube Help Center? I really hope it comes out that this young lady, her whole life was suffering from some kind of mental illness. Because if we have jumped the shark that much when it comes to this internet thing, it is time for everybody to unplug. Okay, disconnect from the internet to reconnect with reality. Please give Nassim Agdam, uh, Nassim Algorithm, the biggest hee-haw, please. Uh-huh. What's up with America, man?